Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the 2013 Convocation of the Canadian Reform Theological Seminary. It's our 44th anniversary meeting and 39th Convocation. We'd like to extend a, a special welcome to our brother Richard Girma, a deputy for theological training in Australia. We'd like to call him forward to speak for a few minutes to you. And again, we'd like to thank the Australian churches for their tremendous support for our seminary. Esteemed Board of Governors, Senate, students, they're over there. Brothers and sisters, it is a great honour and privilege to be in your midst this evening to share with you much joy and thankfulness, and also to extend to you greetings in the name of our Lord from the Free Reformed Churches of Australia. Tonight we also see the end of the season of study for some students as they graduate, and we congratulate them, Colvin van der Linde, Theo Wieringer, and not in the least our own Australian student, Ben Scoof. Brothers, we congratulate you all in achieving a Master of Divinity degree, and may God bless you in the pathway that he has intended for you, and that you may use this degree in his service. On behalf of your brothers and sisters in Australia, I thank you for the opportunity to address you this evening. First of all, then, cutting to the chase, I would like to extend also from this place a hearty welcome to Dr. Peter Van Ralta as our new Professor of Ecclesiology. Welcome, brother. May you and your wife, Christine, and your children be abundantly blessed as you find your way among us in a new home and in a new community. Tonight, we may indeed present you with three students for the MDiv degree, Mr. Ben Scoof, who has received a, and accepted a call to the Maranatha Canadian Reformed Church of Surrey, BC, and Mr. Calvin van der Linde and Mr. Theo Wieringa, who are both presenting themselves to a classes later this month to become eligible for call. Tonight, we may also welcome two new students, one to the MDiv degree and one to the Bachelor of Theology degree. Mr. James Zeckfeld, our new MDiv student, comes from the Toronto area from the Hope United Reformed Church of Woodbridge, Ontario. And Mr. John Bouquet comes to us from the United Reformed Church in Aylmer, Ontario. And our purposes, of course, are to serve God and God alone. May he continue to direct us as we prepare ministers of the word for him and for you. Thank you. Beloved in the Lord, as the instruction of General Synod Carmen 2013, the Board of Governors has appointed you, Brother Theodore Vivaldi, as Professor of Ecclesiology at the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches. We thank the Lord that you have accepted the appointment, and we will now proceed to install you as Professor. Do you believe the Old and New Testament to be the only Word of God and the complete doctrine of salvation? Do you reject all doctrines conflicting with it? Do you accept the doctrinal standards of the Canadian Reformed Churches as confessing the true and complete doctrine of salvation? Second, do you promise faithfully to discharge your duties as a professor of ecclesiology and to adorn the doctrine of God with a godly life? Third, do you also promise to submit to the admonition and discipline of the Board of Governors and the Church to which you continue to be bound in case you become delinquent in doctrine or life? Seen Dr. Theodore Vivaldi, what is your answer? I do. Brother Vivaldi, will you sign this form of subscription? I will. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, brothers and sisters, beginning well in the ministry, how do we do that? Let me begin then with some reflection on the nature and purpose of ministry. How really should you see yourself 
as you go off into the ministry. It seems to me that despite all the expectations of members and office bearers, pastors ought not to see themselves as administrators. We should not see ourselves either as the chief administrative officer, not even the CEO, the chief executive officer of the church. We are probably not trained or gifted in these areas, nor do we need to be. We are not even the chief academic officer, as our task goes beyond academics as well. If we want an acronym for our task, perhaps it should be CSO, Chief Spiritual Officer. In a nutshell, your task as minister of the word is to oversee and direct the spiritual lives, direction, and purposes of the people of God. So then, this is first, young men. Brothers, know what you are, chief spiritual officers of God's church. If this is your task, then obviously you must give the highest possible priority to the preaching of the Word of God. Do ministers really need to be engaged in issues that have to do with buildings and borders and budgets and the like? Is that a wise use of their time and their expertise? Seeing the preaching task within the context of Christian spirituality also helps us, I believe, to see preaching properly. The people of God need a whole lot more than more information. The kind of preaching needed today requires quietude and solitude, concentration and intensity. The truth is, it's really not too hard to spend 40 hours on two sermons. Just because these men tonight receive an MDiv degree doesn't mean that sermons are just going to pop out of them at the appropriate time on a weekly basis. It doesn't mean they don't have to study Sorry, brothers, but your studies have just begun. All we've done all these years is teach you how to do them. And a congregation that hungers for great preaching must allow ministers the time and the space that that requires. I will leave you with two more brief thoughts. What virtues are most important to ministers? My wife would be quick to single out two. First, brothers, be humble. And secondly, brothers, be passionate. There's something that's almost as bad as being a heretic, and that is to be boring. When you think about it, isn't it heresy to think that the gospel is less than the most exciting news ever told, that the gospel is less than the best message ever heard? All over the scriptures, God is passionate and jealous about the gospel. He gives us a message, a calling, which is worth being passionate about. How can we not? It's even our barometer. When I lose my passion, I need to reflect on where my trouble is, where my heart is at. Without passion, you are just... Uh, talking head, a noisy gong, a clanging cymbal. May the God of all grace bless you and all those who climb the pulpits of the world and cause your and their hearts to be hearts that are filled with the joy of God's love and the greatness of his grace. May he give you many years of ministry as years of joy. Thank you. We'll now proceed then to the conferral of the degrees. Mr. Principal, I present to you for the degree of Master of Divinity, Benjamin James Scoof. On behalf of the Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Churches, I confer on you, Benjamin James Scoof, the Master of Divinity degree. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience 
and careful instruction. Mr. Principal, I present to you for the degree of Master of Divinity, Kelvin Peter Vanderlyn. On behalf of the Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches, I confer on you, Calvin Peter Van Der Linde, the Master Divinity Degree. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Mr. Principal, I present to you for the degree of Master of Divinity, Theodore Alvin Wieringa. On behalf of the Senate of the Theological College of the Canadian Reformed Churches, I confer on you Theodore Alvin Wieringa, the Master of Divinity degree. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. It's an honor and a privilege to be up here before you to speak to you tonight as a representative of the 2013 CRTS graduating class. It's good to remind ourselves and to remind ourselves often that we never would have reached this point had God not guided all things in his love and providence. It would be good for us tonight to also thank the churches in general. CRTS is a seminary by the churches for the churches. And we can say that together as students, we have experienced that to be true. But lest they be overshadowed in any way, we especially want to thank our professors, Dr. Vischer, Dr. Visser, Dr. Van Vliet, Dr. Smith, for all the hard work and energy they've devoted to their teaching and our training. It's through prayer that we are connected today with the grace that God will give us in order to make us adequate for tomorrow's ministry. So rely on him, and he will help you, and he will bless you. Thank you. With great thankfulness, we may tell you that this year, an amount of $35,798.66 was collected. Mr. Principal? It gives us great pleasure to present you with a pledge for $37,000 for this coming year. <laughs> 